Aquarius, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. Um, my name is Michelle. I'm an astrologer and tarot card reader. And these videos, uh, in these videos, I will use astrology, tarot, and oracle cards to describe the energies that are going to have greatest impact on you, as well as provide you insights with how to best use or at least um, survive the energies for each week. Um, so they're an energy reading and you can watch it at any time, but the astrology, of course, is time sensitive. Uh, there's always an extended reading Aquarius, so those links are below. You can feel free to join my Unbound membership, which will give you access to all of the extended readings as well as other perks. You can learn more about that on my main channel page under the membership tab. Um, but yeah, please remember to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload all your favorite content. Aquarius comes out every single Wednesday at 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. So the astrology is quite kind of chaotic, especially in the beginning of this week, um, where there's so many planets in Pisces because of where everything is located that is definitely going to have an impact on you. Um, and what what could really be happening is what I kind of call a clusterfuck of energy. There's so much going on in your head right now. It may be hard to decipher what is most important to you. In fact, it could feel like everything at the same time is so important to you. Now, that's beautiful energy because it's a very passionate time for you. Um, it's a time where you will feel really inspired to make progress and Feel yourself being pushed forward and in a lot of ways want to resist against it but the resistance will also be carrying you forward you know you want to be you want to be carrying things in a different way or or seeing how they react in a different way um figuring things out or basically helping you to process all of these information all of this information that's coming into you all of these feelings all of this self-actualization that is happening so the biggest challenge for you right now could be putting this all into some kind of order. Um, uh, you don't have a problem with faith. There's never been a problem with faith in Aquarius energy. So a sense of just encompassing it, it into your life and just taking it for what it is, is fine. But then there's a sense of, okay, how do I make it intellectual? How do I make a sense out of it? Be patient with yourself and give yourself time Aquarius because with time you will be and it's like the one thing you may not feel like you have right now is time um the biggest thing that you can do that is sort of rebellious is to remind yourself that you don't have to get everything done right away in fact you may have come to this conclusion already this sense of ah when everything feels like that I'm going to do the exact opposite and that is I don't have to get everything done in one day. I don't have to get everything done in one year. It's the essential faith that I will be getting it done, that I am currently on the path to getting it done, that is going to carry me here and make me realize that I am still in control in this situation. Um, trying to think of what else is going on. Because yes, Uranus is still in Taurus, so is the sun, so is Mercury for a brief time, but Mercury is leaving. Mercury is going into Gemini, which will definitely have an impact on what then you will be able to communicate in terms of your discoveries. So during this time, when you're drawing conclusions, making discoveries, realizing things, my big suggestion for you is to write it down. Right, put it into some tangible form while Mercury is still in Taurus so that it will be easier for you to communicate it. This is a great time for for um, getting down your ideas and getting down like getting down your innovations and and making them work out and making them make sense to you right now so that you'll be able to share them soon. Let's get into the cards. Um, Aquarius tools and tips for Aquarius. What can Aquarius expect? What's going down? What's happening with Aquarius this week? Two cards to flip over. Those cards are feeling stuck or feeling held up, feeling in a perpetual cocoon stage. I will say this right now, if you have had any hopes or ideas or dreams of um, a relationship working out, it's not going to happen. A rebirth is not assured. Things have stalled, they've died, they've not, they're not coming to fruition. This is a sense of lack of change or stagnation. And that's 
really scary, just a lack of growth, maybe even a perceived stubbornness. Um, dream the world into being also has come up in reverse. So ultimately, this could be a great deal of disappointment with what you see happening in the world right now. Realizing how far away from reality or what you've discovered to be truth is. Also, this really strong sense of... Um, of I've got to do something, I've got to change something. Realize that this is all within your wheelhouse and your, your perception, um, but it's definitely putting you into motion. And uh, like, it's, it's inspiration. You're gathering inspiration from this. Um, this could also mean feeling like you're stuck right now because everything is happening, feels like it's happening all at once not being able to get any clear image of anything or um, not see any future with something. So there's something here where um, it's hard for you to imagine a future with it or you're not seeing that future very clearly. And this could go as far out as your social beliefs of feeling very discouraged about what you see happening in your community. This could also be what's going on in your personal life, not really seeing a future for something. This could even be in a sense, not seeing a future for um, a current relationship or a situation like that. And then we have set healthy boundaries. There you go. And then we have trust in divine detours. Um, this is really interesting. I think this is suggesting that it's very new to you to set healthy boundaries. Um, but this is the energy where you're going to learn how essential and necessary it is for it your life for you to set those boundaries. Um, there is definitely a stagnation here. Something has not been able to shift or move. A situation, circumstance in your life has not been able to move forward. And it is not because there are too many boundaries. It's because there aren't enough. There, You haven't established the boundaries that you needed to establish in order to um, push this forward, in order to um, in order to be secure enough in who you are to be able to kind of like like set your feet where they want to go it's almost like a boundary in and of itself there's a sense of but i am making a statement that i am committing to this direction it's almost it's almost that sense of this new thing that's going on in your life is learning how to um some sort of setting boundaries. It doesn't have to be in a bad situation. It could be writing a business plan, writing your expectations. What are your expectations? What are your desires? What is fair for me and everybody else? This can be very difficult, especially if you have Aquarius moon, um, setting boundaries in terms of um, other people, in terms of deciphering between what's right for everybody and what's right for me and realizing that you have a right to do things that's right for you, but not, okay, it's not only a right, it's an obligation. You have to know what's right for you and clearly communicate what's right for you because something isn't moving forward because something isn't clear. So if you have felt a stagnation, it is because it's not clear what you expect of a situation or you are not clear as to what to expect from a situation. And so this is another boundary, enabling yourself to go back and ask and go back and say, these are my expectations it does this meet your expectations and that this is an, a conversation that you may have to have this week just an FYI um, you may have to have it quite a few times Aquarius so definitely be able to uh, sort of um, Take space and be patient with yourself when it comes to this week because there will be a lot of impasses that you come to in this energy and it's because the boundaries aren't clear or the expectations from both parties aren't clear. Um, and then we have act as if. So this is moving into the uh, future. Um, honestly, I'm going to say this is kind of energy that you want to stay away from. This is almost like solving the problem, solving the boundary problem by saying, acting like it's okay, or by just kind of like blending in. I want to speak up. I don't want to talk, to, talk any, talk about it or 
you know, make any statements about. But what this is going to do is it's going to perpetuate into the future this sort of ambiguous, murky concept of who's who, who am I, what do people want, what do people expect from me. I'm just going to choose to blend in is a form of escape. It's not a form of dealing with the circumstance. Now, this may be a good short term or temporary fix while you get you know your mind right while you get your head on straight that's fine but i would not let that energy go more than a week and it does say that it's it's moving forward so it could be suggestive to you to say like this is a good energy to uh take on and and at least for now be able to take some space act as if you're just sort of like blending in <clears throat> you're not stirring the pot maybe you want to watch a little bit then we have at the bottom of the page life is speeding up so let me see uh, explain to you why that can really cause some friction there's a part of you that doesn't want to take action or there's a part of you that it isn't ready to decide about which direction you want but at the same time you want things to be moving forward Forward, you want things to speed up this is also Gemini season so what this is saying is by the time we reach Gemini season and and that is probably uh, that's gonna be next month because the Sun just entered Taurus um, so that's gonna be in about a month this is a sense of things will work out or things will become more clear but I did mention Mercury is heading into Gemini which even though the Sun is in Gemini and it's not Gemini season until the Sun enters Gemini, when Mercury enters Gemini, things are going to really start to come together and communication is going to really start. So what this is kind of giving me Aquarius is a time a time frame. Um, and what I, I see it, this would be toward the end of this week, once Mercury heads into Gemini, finally being able to put things together and figure out, you know, what you want to do with this or which direction you need to go in. So obviously, there's a sense of just sort of like playing along or lying low for the beginning of this week. And then into next week, really being able to um, make some firm steps or take some positions on things. Okay. Damn. Aquarius. Aquarius. This. Okay. This deck is not usually that talkative. We have salmon. Something about here is instinctual and natural and you're being drawn to it. This is about trusting your instincts. And then we have also flipped up trusting your instincts when it comes to figuring out something for abundance, making good choices that will bring you to the most abundant outcomes or incomes, I should say, the most, um, the most progress, the most profit, uh, making those smart decisions, uh, trusting your instincts. It also has to do with something natural or following in your, you know, sort of like, yeah, natural, trusting your intuitions. Um, knowing what to invest in that's going to lead to something that's fruitful it's almost like you just kind of want to watch and wait and see right now and then we have uh, the past so we have four here but it's in reverse which suggests this was something that was destabilized in the past it, it, it doesn't have to be bad it just had to be like it wasn't necessarily guaranteed right it was everything was kind of not necessarily in chaos but it wasn't put together and it wasn't reliable um there weren't wasn't a firm structure okay and then we have aquarian energy which is your energy showing up in reverse in the past not feeling solid now you're an air sign so you're not supposed to feel solid but you are supposed to know who you are so this could be a sense of consciousness kind of up in the air not necessarily really even maybe even having a public image that was solid kind of thing um, or seeing that there was a lot of things that were happening socially or around you that not only didn't make sense, were deconstructive. And then we have Aries energy, which is leading me here to say it's almost like Aquarius, Aries, this is also a time frame from Aquarius to Aries season feeling like everything was topsy-turvy like you couldn't get anything done like you couldn't make any decisions or like people you were being misunderstood and every action you took seemed to not go like not not be what you expected it to be and then we have Orion here 
and we have sun, moon, and stars. Everything in the past is showing as in reverse, feeling like you were misunderstood, misinterpreted, and that um, sort of the stars were colliding and not working for you. That's also suggestive too. They were. In the beginning of this year, we had much more difficult astrology. Um, um, Saturn was in a lot of crazy, was in the middle of a lot of craziness, which would impact you because you're still influenced by Saturn. Um, definitely Uranus was, I think there was a, a real harsh square in the beginning of this year. So, th like, there was a lot of things, yeah, earlier that just didn't work out. And I think what that did was make you, at this point, reach this point of, I'm going to be real conservative here. I'm not going to throw a lot of myself into this. I'm going to watch and wait and see. Um, and then we have, you got the green light. You got the green light because you've been approved of by the council. Now, this is really good news for those of you who have, you know, like felt like you were the outsider in the establishment, felt felt like, and even if you are still the outsider, this is a sense of now being approved of, having ideas approved of. This could have been going through a lot of approval process and constantly getting turned down or um, um, uh, getting like, you know, I, I feel like, like this card is like getting like turned down, denied, 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 all that kind of stuff. Like just not being understood or, or um, yeah. And then now there's a sense of uh, this governing body choosing you, selecting you, um, um, giving you the stamp of approval, giving you the okay. You've got the green light now. You've got the green light from the authority. That's really interesting because Uranus is in Taurus. So it's almost like you're deconstructing and you're changing what, you're, you're, what you feel stable with. You're changing... Um, your value systems, your, or your, your changing, um, basically, basically your foundations, you're changing your foundations. Um, and now there's a sense of you're ready to go. You're ready to unleash something, reveal something. Um, um, somebody saying yes to you. That's a big old green light. Yes. And that's just, I mean, <laughs> let's, let's get more specifics. What's this green light too? I would say if this is a mortgage or something that you applied for or you had to go up, up to the board or something like that, this, there's a sense of this is a good week for to get people's approval. Um, this is you got a you got a good chance of people being open enough to seeing your ideas or seeing your perspective or trusting in them. Serendipity is here. It's saying that you just had to have the right timing. It's like you had to wait for some something to get to to, to come together correctly. Aquarius, you know, lots of times we think it's us. I'm not working hard enough. I clearly maybe I'm not skilled enough or talented enough, and that's not true. Sometimes the right people just aren't in the room yet, and you know the room has to shift. And what's happened? And what you're going to start to see this week is that the room has most definitely shifted it to a group of people who are very much interested in hearing what you have to say. And so this is a good time, even if you've felt stagnant, to kind of like get the ball rolling again and maybe get your feet wet and test the waters again. Unfinished symphony is here. Um, yeah, it's like something was stalled. You couldn't move it forward. You didn't understand like how to communicate or... I don't know. It just was stalled. This is the finish. This is this is finally getting that harmony back. Finally getting, you know, being in sync with those around you and by the book, which does figure into Saturnian energy, doing things step by step. It's almost like a message saying, listen, you learned the lesson the hard way, Aquarius. Be sure that you get all your documents in the right order. Like, you've gotten a good understanding or kind of window um a view uh, you've gotten a good view into the opposite mindset or the mindset that you're up against so now you know how to perfectly communicate all the ideas so it's almost like listen i'm going to do it my way but i'm going to use your process so you can't say shit to me <laughs> it's kind of what it is it's like i'm going to sort of sneak attack by using your systems to undo you that's kind of what it, that, that's kind of what it's saying and that sounds really manipulative but it's your but in other words you're like listen i have played by the rules i played by the book it says buy the book right unfinished symphony um you're you're using this um it's like you're gonna need to like play play by the rule book to finish up 
finish this up. But the thing is, this is something that is 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 changing your life it's going to change the game so it's it's sort of like yeah learning how to speak somebody else's language to share your ideas it's not about giving up your ideas or becoming insincere at all it's about um learning how to work within the confines of where you're working um yeah um this could also speak to i have to say this this could also speak to cosmic irony when you discover that you who loves to change things and do things your own way is now the person that's setting the rules for everybody else and when you learn that that could be um not something that you really care a position that you don't really care to be in because even though you like to change things you like change you know the change and innovation is what you lash on to you don't want the expected so you don't want what you've established to become the establishment and it's like maybe you're starting to discover people are using your words or your strategies or your ideas in an incorrect way and it's like they've given it the green light but they've given it the green light because now they've found a way to incorporate it into a new normal and that's exactly what you were fighting against you didn't want to be a part of the new normal right this is interesting i'm going to continue with tarot i hope you guys will use the links below and come on over with me